Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to Dreams in the Witch House. Once again, we are diving headfirst into the tentacle-laden world of the Cthulhu Mythos, guys. This is a brand new point-and-click adventure game based on the short story by H.P. Lovecraft, and um, it just released today. It's from Adam Brain Games, and um, I'm looking forward to checking this out. I actually found out about this like two weeks ago. Um, when Man Devil in one of my previous videos commented, like, you gonna play Dreams in the Witch House? I'm like, what? Looked it up and I was like, well, I know what is on the queue. So, let's go ahead and get a new game started. Difficulty. The full experience with a real challenge, the way it's designed to be played. That's all I need to know. I like the, the nice pan down. So you're happy with the room? Everything is okay? Yes, I think so. Your aunt has paid the rent for the next two months. Your room will be cleaned and your firewood will be replenished on Mondays. There's also a mailbox in the lobby that's reserved for you. I want to make sure I don't skip any dialogue. Okay, thanks. I think I'll manage here. If you have questions, my room is next to the stairs. Just keep the noise down and follow the house rules. Do we have a list of the house rules? My first apartment. It's nothing to write home about, but I kind of like it. Well, I guess I should head out to the university, check my exam dates, and start to study. So, young university student. Well, I could finally start on my theory paper. Interact and look to and deselect. Map, to-do list. Hmm. To open the character bar, move the mouse cursor to the top of the screen. Mm-hmm. For more help, select Witchopedia or Controls in the Game Menu. Character bar displays Walter's inventory, stats, skills, and current modifier. Hover mouse over stats and skills to see a more detailed value. Hover mouse over any active modifier like Hungry or Tired to see how it is affecting Walter. So yeah, we've got some RPG style elements coming into this game here. Health, Sanity... Math is one. That's just like in real life, actually. My score would probably be lower. Occult zero and exams. Check course schedule. Peckish. Rested, not sick, warm, dry, uninjured. We got notes and letters here. Food. My wallet holding $10. Map of Arkham. Well, I better pick up my math books before I leave. Corners curiously slanted in the house. It's my pocket calendar, where I add all the upcoming events and dates. It's Monday, March 1st, 1929. I have no upcoming events. I have one portion of food. Looks like crackers and canned beans, maybe. Which makes sense. Lovecraft took a tour across New England that, where that's pretty much the only thing he ate was crackers and cheese and canned beans. Ooh. Walter keeps track of tasks in his to-do list. He receives a small amount of sanity when a task is completed. So that's how we counteract that. We are going to lose sanity, of course. It is a mythos game. Check course schedule, work on the theory papers, get a grade B or better at an exam. Please, let's not have to do a lot of math. And Margaret is to the left, and Hazel to the right, and I'm standing in the middle. It's a recent photograph. We took it last Christmas. So Lovecraft actually did live with his aunts, if I recall correctly. The papers of a theory I'm working on. 
To put it briefly, it deals with combining mathematics and new concepts of physics with folklore and the occult. I haven't really started working on it, just outlined the basic argument. My math books. I haven't had time to find the right place for them yet. I guess this is where the firewood is stored. There are three batches of firewood in the chest. Examine the wall. Okay, I will here in just one sec. Can we grab anything? I'll be needing my math books. Huh. There's a big rat hole in the wall. I hope it's uninhabited. Let's just push the firewood chest right along here, shall we? Fuel for the fire. Oh, I'm sure I'll find good source material in Miskatonic University's library for my theory. I might even be able to study the rare special collection tomes. Not if uh, Armitage has anything to say about it. It's a cheap mantle clock. I had to stop it because of its noisy ticking. Oh, yeah, that'd drive me nuts. I don't want to wind the clock. Its noisy ticking was driving me crazy. Aunt Margaret insisted that I put the portrait on display. But I might need this. I'll leave the frame where it is and just take the photograph. I can always put it back if I change my mind. Okay, already lost sanity. I'll need some wood to start the fire with. Yeah, but we don't need to do that right now. We've got a light switch. Doesn't really apply. Do you want to sleep or rest? Nope. Examine the rat hole. I don't want to stick my hand in the rat hole. I should take a closer look to see what's inside it. Okay, hold on. I want to examine the wall here. This part of the wall seems a bit soft. That's not good. The wall might be rotten and mold-ridden. Oh, that's a nasty big rat hole. Looks empty. But the hole goes deeper into the darkness. It's too dark to see anything in there. There's also a nasty, rank-smelling odor coming from the hole. That's fair. Okay, so we got firewood. I think we're good for right now. We are feeling a bit rested. Time advances in the background as Walter explores the world. Actions like sleeping, studying, and resting advance time for several hours. Pressing the key to continue. Time is stopped when examining the map, notes or archives, and during dialogue. Uh, the cross time symbol on the top right corner displays when the game time is stopped. Pressing the key T. Okay. Interesting. Manager. That's the landlord's, Miss Dombrowski's apartment. Dombra, um, Dombrowski's, yes. Okay. Want to make sure I got that right. And it looks like the plan is dead. At least it stops time when you're examining. House rules. One, no pets. Two, no children. Three, silence begins at 9 p.m. Four, no overnight guests. Five, rooms will be cleaned on Mondays at noon. Miss Dombrowski runs a tight ship. Mine's in the middle. I've got some mail. There's a letter addressed to me. The postage stamp is from Haverhill. Just want to make sure everything is good there. I'd better not touch it. Looks like it could crumble to dust. Uh, 
Uh, that's a letter from Matt and Margaret. Uh, February 27th, Haverhill, Massachusetts. Dear Walter, I hope the move went nicely. Have you already settled in? A new city can feel strange at first, but you'll get used to it, I'm sure. I've paid Mrs. Dombrowski two months' rent in advance, so don't worry about that. I'll send your weekly allowance every Monday by mail. For motivation, should you need it, I'll send you a little extra if you do well in your exams. Needless to say, we are very proud of you. I know your mother is too, even if she can't say it. I'm sure you'll make the most of this opportunity. Don't study too hard, and remember to rest. Your affectionate aunt, Margaret. P.S. I found some of your belongings still here. I will mail them to you tomorrow. Hmm. That was nice of her. Oh, nice of her to check up on me already. Also, good to know I can earn some extra money by doing well on my exams. Yes, indeedy. Ah, oh, we got our sanity back. That's a ladder. I don't think I need the ladder right now. But later. Except for the cloth sack, there's nothing in the bucket except dust and filth. And I don't need the sack right now. Oh, number one. I don't want to disturb the other lodgers. Coming! Yes, what is it now? Ask about the house rules. Can you tell me the house rules again? Your room will be cleaned and your firewood will be replenished on Mondays at noon. Just keep the noise down and don't cause any trouble. Okay, thank you. Uh, from what I've heard, this house has a colorful history. Oh, listen to the music in the background. What? I mean, I've heard rumors that apparently, uh... They are just rumors. You shouldn't listen to them. Those things happened over two centuries ago. Yes, but I'm quite interested in this topic. Could you tell me more about the history of the house? I have no time for this. Uh, do you have anything else to ask? You know, goodbye. Hey, Gilman. If you want to earn some loose change, I might have some odd jobs for you. What kind of work are we talking about? Raking the yard, cleaning the rain gutters, and so forth. It's a big house, so there's always some chores to do. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, goodbye then. Okay, the to-do list. T. Check course schedule. Get a grade B or better at an exam. I know we don't have our course schedule here. Let's go. Let us leave the witch house. Dombrowski's lodging house. It's Dombrowski's lodging house. I heard it's supposed to be over 200 years old. No wonder it's starting to fall apart. You notice we got the boarded window right there. Uh-huh. There's a boarded window in the attic. I didn't notice it when I moved my things here. To the city. Alright, guess we need to check the Arkham map. Aha! Walter can fast travel by using the map. Home, Miskatonic, the coffee house, and downtown. To Miskatonic. Miskatonic University. Ever since I was a little boy, I've wanted to study here. I must make the most of this opportunity. Hello, random person walking across the way. Is there anything we need to examine here? An automobile. It's a nice looking automobile. It must belong to one of the professors. The 
both ways before crossing the street. I should check my course schedule and see what book I need to study. It's a portrait of a rugged elderly man with a fiery look in his eyes. A small plaque reads, Henry Cutler, 1720 to 1792, first president of Miskatonic University. It's a painting of an authoritative yet kindly looking pale old man. A small plaque reads, Dr. Allen Halsey, 1865 to 1925, dean of the medical school. I remember reading about his heroic actions during the typhoid plague a few years ago. I believe he was in Herbert West Reanimator. A display case has information on Miskatonic University's history. It was founded in 1767 by a group of wealthy Arkham gentry. During the 19th century, the university started to earn its reputation throughout the academic community. Its impressive library, and especially the rare esoteric volumes, attracted the attention of scholars from across the globe. Mm hmm. Currently, it's considered to be one of the most prestigious universities in the U.S., on par with Harvard. Well, that's neat. Uh, he's just another student. I don't know him. And I have nothing to say to him. Uh, my next course is Calculus D. Required reading for the course is Elements of Algebra. I should be available in the library upstairs. My math skills will come in handy. Oh, God. Next lecture is March 3rd. Next exam is March 11th. And I'll add the dates to my calendar. Can't wait. Door to the auditorium. Mm, it's locked. Auditorium. What about this door? Oh. Oh, this is okay. This is the dungeon in the Edison Mansion. Upstairs. It's a massive fireplace built to keep the study warm in the cold Massachusetts winters. Student is reading a book. She's the librarian. If I want to borrow something, I need to go through her. Another student reading a book. Student reading a book. <laughs> Dewey Decimal System. It's a nature painting. Skillfully executed, but a bit boring. Dr. Henry, Henry Armitage, the head librarian. If I'm not mistaken, that's a copy of Fuseli's The Nightmare. William Blake, Nebuchadnezzar. Excuse me. How can I help you? Ask about borrowing books. I'd like to borrow a book. Can you tell me how this works? Certainly. You see that card file cabinet over there? Yes. It contains index cards that have the book titles in alphabetical order. Use the cat file cabinet and find your book's index card. The card will show your book's collection and the author's name. When you have that information, enter the library. Find the correct collection number and search the books by the author's name. When you found your book, bring it here for checkout. You must have a student card to borrow books. But you can also study them here without it. Alright. But what if I want to search the books by category? Madness! The file card cabinet has an index locker in the bottom corner. It has a categorized list of all the books in the library. Thanks. About the special collection. 
I understand that you have a special collection of rare and unusual books. How can I borrow them? You can't. Huh? The head librarian, Dr. Armitage, changed the policy about a year ago. The special collection books are kept separately from the other books for safety reasons. But surely it's possible to study them. Yes, it is. You can reserve a time to study the books here at the university. All inquiries about the special collection, though, go to Dr. Armitage. His office is through that door on your right. Okay, I'll go see him then. Well, I'm sorry, but Dr. Armitage is absent at the moment. He should be available in a day or two. I see. I'd like to know more about the student card. Certainly. With the card, you can have two books borrowed at the same time. The card costs two dollars, but I also need a recent headshot photograph from you. I have a recent family photo that I'm in. That won't do. It has to be a small headshot picture, not a regular photo. I see. And where can I get this photograph? There's the Prescott's Photography Studio on Church Street. It's a bit expensive, but they work fast. All right, I'll add the location to my map. Buy the student card. Uh, goodbye. So, T index. You can shuffle the, the papers quickly by using the arrow keys or the mouse wheel. Alchemy. Mathematics 1 and Mathematics 2. B -b -b -bum. Elements of Algebra. I believe that is the one that I needed. Let me look at Mathematics 2 real quick. Alright. Okay. Math. Yeah, mathematics one and two. I just want to check something here. Elements of algebra. Aha! This is the exam book that I need. I'll find it in collection four in the library. Call number evil. Mm-hmm. Or E-U-L, maybe. Yes, E-U-L. Leonard Euler. All right. Ooh, a diorama. I love dioramas. Well, there's the library, the School of Medicine, the faculty office building, the quad, and dormitories. The attention to detail is good, but not great. Still, it's pretty awesome. All right, collection four. Astronomy, mathematics, and physics. My study book should be here somewhere. The author of the book was Euler. So I need to go through the books filed under the letter E. Student assistant, hello. I believe he's the student assistant who works here. Excuse me. I'm very busy right now and I can't be disturbed. Please go away. Service with a smile. I don't think I need that volume right now. But my exam book should be somewhere close by. This is the correct spot. To find a specific book, hover the mouse over the books. The name of the book will appear if Walter knows about it. Ah. There you are. Elements of Algebra by Leonard Euler. It's the set book for Calculus D. 
I haven't yet started to read the book. Still, that's good. And he doesn't want any of that, so... We'll just leave him alone. And special collection about the... Okay. So in terms of our to-do list, work on the theory papers, get a, study elements of algebra, get a student card, study the special collection, study table. What should I start to study? Walter can use the table to study math, occult, exams, or chemistry. Use the correct book on the table to start studying. Another study location can be found at Walter's room. Hmm. Okay, maybe. The exam skill represents Walter's knowledge on the current course subject, 10 being the maximum. Reading the course book will increase the skill and unlock exam answers. If the subject is math-based, Walter's math skill will be added to the exam skill. Whatever is capable of increase or diminution or diminution it's called a magnitude or a quantity. Five hours pass. I'm hungry. I should get a bite to eat. Oh, I lost health. Oh, so if your health goes all the way through. Ew. So maybe... I don't know. We'll see what we got to do here. Eat. Tasty. I'm full. Satiated. And the health goes back up to 10. Lovely. We're out of food, though. So we need to go take care of that here. Work on theory papers. I mean, we could go ahead and do that. It is dusk. I need to study more of the occult before I can start to work on my theory. I'm sure I could find interesting reference sources in the occult and folklore, folklore in Miskatonic's library. Yes, you could. So, if we go... Hmm... Uh, the Magus, Transcendental Magic, Wonders of the Invisible World, Anthropogenesis, Cosmogenesis. For rare occult books, consult the special collection. That's cool, though. I was surprised they have the uh, Malus Maleficarum here. All right. Maybe we have to pick our poison. But I'll tell you what, guys. This seems like a good place to go ahead and uh, call it an episode. A very interesting premise right now, I have to say, for sure. But, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and pick this up next time. Hope you all have enjoyed it. I'm trying to do whatever I can to, like, stop the clock. But if you all like the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.